Hey everyone, Techni here, and we have the graphics card. The one I picked out was this MSI Armor RX 570. It's an 8 gigabyte. Now, I know there's better out there, but I think, again, for my wife and son, I think this is going to really fit this PC very well. And, of course, for my occasional gaming, I think this will really get us by. But I also got him something else, too. Let me, let me show you what I got him. I went and picked him up, one of those fantastic $100 Acer monitor finds we had uh, not too long ago. You know, I couldn't... This LG monitor back to the 32 inch it's okay i mean i i, I honestly don't like it it's that it's that ips is 60 hertz and that glossy screen i just even down here i just can't stand it so again at 100 bucks for this guy i mean i just i couldn't pass it up i had to get one for down here as well all right so we got the monitor installed and i really like that again there's so much flexibility in this monitor and it's such a great price if you haven't caught that video yet i don't know if the uh the deal's still on for the hundred bucks but i got the link down and everything again you can always catch this guy for 130 anyways just go check out the video on this monitor i think it's such a steal all right so like i said we got the monitor installed and everything as you can tell i put the printer i did get a little side table and put the uh, printer over there so now they got some nice workspace you know what i'm getting all off track here we're supposed to be talking about the graphics card but i'm talking about my setup here anyways let's talk about the graphics card all right so in our box obviously you get your paperwork you some stickers, some uh, user's guide in 15 different languages, and this is pretty cool. I don't know if you guys can see it right there, but it gives you a little uh, installation guide in a comic comic form. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, and then, of course, we get the graphics card. All right, so let's pop it open and see what we have here. Oh, dear. My fingers were kind of loose right there. All right, so there we go. It looks pretty cool. White and black. I have our ports over here, three display ports, uh, DVI, and then a HDMI. Let me tell you what I don't like about it is the back. It doesn't have the uh, it doesn't have the cover on it. I don't know. I think that looks kind of cheesy, in my opinion. I would have really preferred a cover on it. I don't know if it makes a difference, but it looks better. All right, so let's go ahead and install. Don't forget to remove the plastic before installing. Like, I mean, come on, really? I mean, they got to put that on there. But all in all, honestly, I mean, this thing looks pretty cool. I mean, I don't know. The fans just look cool with all the, you know. I don't know, it's so, so corny, right? It doesn't matter how it looks, right? I guess it matters how it performs. I don't know, I want my stuff to look good too. But again, I just can't get over it not having that uh, that plate over the back right there. It's just, I don't know, this just looks ugly to me. I don't know, maybe when we install it'll look different. Let's see, I had to go get a screwdriver. You know, I also forgot to turn off the power on the uh, PC here. I'm just too excited. All right, so we got our plates removed in the back right there. The top one unscrewed, this bottom one we had to kind of bend to pop off, which kind of stinks. Like I said, once you take it off, it's off. I don't know if every case is like that, but uh, you know. Anyway, so we got our graphics card. You know, it's so cool. I don't know, I get I get into, into these things, you just start looking at them. It's just, I don't know, it just amazes me. Like all these little, all right, whatever. Let's get back to the graphics card. All right, so let's go on and take our card and just slapsy do it in there. It's kind of really hard to fit in here. I don't know if it's because of small motherboard. I have like this little, uh, I don't know if you guys can see this cover that goes back down there. So these little teeth back here tend to catch on it when I try to push it in there. Pretty weird. Like I said, it's my other ones would just slide in, but this one is a bit of a cookie to get in there. All right, good night. We finally got it in. Again, it was so hard to finagle in there because this plastic cover back there, if you can see it on the camera, it's just, it wouldn't give any room for those teeth to slide back there with the motherboard and everything. It was just, ah, uh, it was tight. But anyways, we got it. All right, so as you can see, we have it all installed and everything. We got our wires back there pretty nice going through the backside. Again, I still wish that, that uh, it had one of those top covers on it. I don't know. I know it's all just cosmetic or some of them help with cooling or even on these lower end cards, it, uh, it makes the cooling worse or whatever, you know? So I, I'm pretty sure that's there for a reason. But again, I just think they look cool with a cover on them. All right, so let's go ahead and turn it on. You know, anytime I do something with the PC, whether it be you know, the power supply or RAM or SSD, the graphics card, whatever, I get so nervous. Like, you know, after I put it in, it's like, and I pressed the power button, I was like, man, is this thing just going to spark and just like blow up on me or is it going to work? I don't know. To this day, I still get nervous no matter whenever I put something in and I got to press the power button. You know what I mean? I don't know. Are any use like that or are you just so comfortable with it? Look, I forgot to turn on the power supply. <laughs> are any use like that though? You know, like whenever you do an upgrade to your PC and you're just kind of like, ah, please work, please work, please work. You know what I mean? So, uh, all right, good. We still power on. All right, everyone, so I had a little bit of a, a hiccup here. As you can see, we're all plugged up and we're rolling and everything's good, but um, 
R rookie move here. You all can make fun of me in the comments if you want. Uh, I'm in my uh, the Radeon settings and everything. I'm seeing. I'm like, all right, the 570 is there. Everything's plugged in. Everything's working. The fans are rolling. Everything's there. Why can't I get the 570 to uh, register on my display and get it working off the 570 instead of integrated? You know, I'm like, what the heck am I doing wrong? I didn't have my monitor plugged into the graphics card. I still had it plugged into the motherboard back here. I know, I know, I know. Go on and uh, you can say what you want in the uh, comments down there. Rookie move. But I'm sitting here like seriously. I was probably sitting here for about 30 minutes or so like just, ah, what's going on? All right, so again, we got everything all set finally. All right, I got the HDMI plugged into the right port. We got Apex loaded up here. Um, we'll go into settings. Before, I remember I had to set everything on low, and we were lucky to hit 30. We were staying right around 30, but it looked like just mush. So anyways, through the rest of the settings here, it has a pretty much varied in between medium and high, minus this uh, spot shadow detail. It has it at low. So I don't know. I'll have to get in there and play with it a little bit. Effects details at medium. I don't know. It says up here that it would save some uh, CPU, GPU load. I don't know, I might want to put that on high. It's got Ragdoll on high. I might want to put that on low. So again, I just set it to default so it reads what I have and it sets it to what it uh, is going to do here. And that's what we'll go with. All right, everyone, so we got Apex loaded up here. Again, I left the settings as it. The only thing I turned off was, uh, where'd my team go? Oh, they already jumped. Anyways, the only thing I turned off was V-Sync. I turned that off. I'm dropping in um, right around here, around high 80s, uh, very low 90s. Um, maybe a hundred something. Again, we're just flying. And let's get down here and get a uh, see what actually gets going here. Oh, so I'm staying low hundreds, guys. What am I? 101, 102. It, it dropped down to uh, high 90s. What is this? Oh, I don't like that thing. Triple take or whatever. So I doubt you all can see the number bouncing around up there. But it's like I said, we're what are we at? 140, 150 right now. 120. It's gone. Um, so I'd say average 100, you know? Yeah, because now we're back down to low hundreds. And again, I left the settings as is. Um, I think if I go there and, you know, raise my textures or something, obviously it'll drop a little bit, which I think I have space for, right? I mean, this looks good, though. This really looks good. Wow. I mean, I give this a win, guys. I mean, getting that kind of performance, I did not expect that at all. I was like, okay, I'll get a 570. It's pretty cheap, you know. Um, again, I got this for 135 after rebates. I think I paid 155 then I got to send in the rebate. And uh, anyways, it's going to be 135 So I think that's a fantastic deal, you know. 8 gigabyte RX 570, and I'm getting those kind of results. I'm really excited to crank up some AAA games, you know, get my Battlefield, Assassin's Creed, and all that stuff on here and give it a test if I was getting those kind of results with Apex here. I mean, wow, what a shocker. But let me know down in the comments, what do you guys think about the RX 570? Again, this was just like a cheap graphics card that I saw for a good price, and I said, heck, let me scoop this up. I did not expect these kind of results. I mean, this is just awesome. I mean, I'm extremely happy with the results here. But please do let me know in the comments. Would you saved up a couple more bucks and went with the 580? Again, I could have got a 580 for a round, give or take 200, uh, 170, 180-ish, you know. But again, 135 for this guy with those kind of results. Man, I, I think this is a win, but please do let me know what you think about it as well. So all in all, I think they really got a nice nice PC down here now, right? Um, with all that, we got the new monitor down here, 75 hertz, one millisecond with the graphics card and everything else. Now that did increase our total cost. What are we at? We were at 654 before, I believe. So what does that put us at? 789? So 789, right at pretty much 800 bucks. That's not counting keyboard, mouse, uh, monitor, all that stuff. You know, you can kind of calculate that up in this. So we kind of get it closer, uh, around a thousand bucks. You know what I mean? But uh, we're talking PC in general. Uh, 789. I'm pretty happy with it. I think that's some fantastic results for 789. But hey, thank you so much for watching this one. If you liked it, hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for some future tech videos. Hey, I hope I catch you in the next one. Bye now.